some applications of geometry. Let's get it straight. I have a straight angle behind me. Well, what do we see? These angles are supplementary. T. I was looking for... Okay, um, there's 360 degrees in a full circle. Here, I'm only going half that. So, what do we need? We need this angle A and that angle B. There's somebody at my door. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Where were we? We were talking about the sum of these two angles. Those angles need to add up to be 180 degrees. What's that? More specifically, A plus B is equal to 180. So hopefully we'll get this to come full circle. What I need to do is I need to set the sum of these two equal to 180 degrees. So here we go. X plus 1 plus 4x minus 56. That needs to be equal to 180 degrees. Finish him. Now it's an application in linear equations. More specifically, we need to gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. We need to combine like terms. Like terms are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. These parentheses are so unnecessary. There's no number in front, and there's no minus sign in front. So I'm not going to front, because there ain't no future in your front. So then here I have x and 4x. They're going to give me 5x's. Don't forget to also combine your constants. Here's 1. Minus 56 is a minus 55. And then that's going to be equal to 180. So now we need to go and we need to solve that. First we get rid of the friends. I say add that 55 to both sides. Add that 55 to both sides. Because what you do on the one side, you must also do on to the other. And then divide. Uh, uh. Be careful when you're crossing out fives. They could look like eights. Great. So then I have a, a 5x on the left, and on the right, there's a 5, 5 and 8, there's a 3, carry a 1, it's okay, they're not heavy, and then that's a 2, oh, finish him. How do you finish him? A little bit of division in our lives, because what you do on the one side, you must also do on the other. It's the first of your golden rules, and they fight, uh, uh, oh, and then x turns out to be, wait for it, wait for it. 47. Yeah, because 5 goes into 20 four times. Then you bring down that 3. You bring down that 5. 5 goes into 30. Uh-huh. But wait, there's more. You're not done. We want to explore what those two angles are. But consider this. That first one, that x plus 1, I think this marker just may be done. Well, if x is 47, then we have 47 plus... 1, and then that angle is going to be 48 degrees. That's that one right there. But what about this one? Right here. Well, okay. So if 4x minus 56 is that angle, and I have an x of 47, oh, you know what? Well, okay, we'll check it. 4x minus 56. My x is 47. So this is 4 times 47 minus 56. This is why I was like disgust. So 4 times 7 is 8. Great. We carry that 2. 4 times 2 is 16 plus that 2. 18. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the difference is 6. There's a 2. Uh-huh. That's a 3. 132 degrees. But I see an easier way. If I know that this here is angle A. Oh, you're coming back, huh? Don't call it a comeback. And I'm trying to find angle B. I could go and I could say that 48 plus B is 180 degrees. So then I can subtract off that 48. Great. Subtract off that 48. Great. So then B is going to be, B is going to be, B is going to be. Uh-oh. Can you take 8 from 0? 
No. So Zero got a borrow, and Zero's like, Hey Apes, can I have a 10? And Apes like, No man, you're nothing. But he gives it up anyway, and he's a 7, and then that's a 10, and then that's a 2, and then that's a 3, and then... <sighs> it's what you got over there. So what do you have? Your two angles are 48 and 132. Box of geometric flower? Box and polar rose. Ah, and that's my angle. Mm -hmm.